is a white-tailed doe AJ shot this morning. How to, how to gut a deer. Um, just one way, one way of many. You want to start right off um, being rather very careful not to go deep right as you start off in the... This one's got a lot of hair on it. It's middle of December. Once you start like that, you want to get a little hole going. And be careful not to go too deep so you don't end up getting into the paunch. Is a, it, it'll make some very, very strong smelling. Right here, that's actually a, the lining around the tummy right there. And that's, you gotta get through that without poking through it. And it's very, very thin. So you just barely brush with the tip of your knife. That's about as far up as you're going to be able to cut. See it's split right in two. That gets into cartilage. I'm going to come on back. Still stay right in between your two fingers. This one could possibly have. Definitely a dry do. This is a good one to take out of the herd. And I come right on back where everything's kind of clean. That's right. Right on back. completely around the hind end. Right in between them like that. Uh, the two hindquarters, that's called, you're he's, he's splitting the legs right there. There's a, a membrane. And then the legs will fall away from you as soon as they, that's down to bone. Right there, and kind of each side, there's kind of a ridge comes up right in the center there. Now once the legs split like that, then it makes things easier to go in everywhere. Good. Clear around the behind of the deer and everything. Kind of keep all this meat and everything clean. This is kind of the tunnel in the back end. I like to go completely around it like that. Reasons here and there. So that's going to be pretty good for the back end for now. You can actually see as I pull up in the front here, I can pull that all the way up. Typically, and pull it through. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little juice coming through, but that's okay. Like that. Okay, that's kind of the whole back end. Don't need to do it in that order. You can go up here in the top end, but the back ends, you can see a tube going all the way through with my fingers touching, keeps it fairly clean. Now I'm gonna go up. You gotta cut through the diaphragm. It's a thin piece of meat that actually, when a deer breathes, it pushes its lungs in and out. But it sits right, right at the top, right there. Here, I just cut through it. You can hear air released out of it. You cut diagonally along the rib cage this way, that way, kind of releases that. I'm gonna reach up and grab the esophagus, which lays right against their back. And this is where you get, kinda gotta get both hands in there. Elk is way different, you'll be having your chin right on their sternum. And I've got that cut. Set my knife aside. You can pretty much just pull. It's a tough pull, but you can just pull. Everything pretty much right on back. There's a diaphragm. I think you gotta watch 
the tenderloin is right there. And you pretty much just roll everything out. And that's it. That's it. Drain it out. The blood in there kind of rinses it out. And there we go.